The opponent, the opponent challenges the reporter for the profit. Like to reject. Reject. Okay, so the next problem. Okay, so then we have post problem number 11, pumping strong. 11. We would like to accept. Okay, thank you. 11.
Thanks for that presentation for the water. Okay, good, uh, good morning. We are Team Miracle from CK High School, and I'm the reporter Lin Junyi, uh, reporting the 11th problem coming strong. The problem statement says that uh, a water pump can be made out of a straw shaped into a triangle and then put it inside uh, under the water, and uh, the water will be pumped up pumped up of the straw. And we need to we need to investigate uh, how the water will be pumped out of the straw, <coughs> what are the geometrical and other relevant parameters uh, relevant to the pumping speed. Okay. So we'll begin by phenomenon observation, theoretical expectations, and then we try to compare the observations to theoretical theoretical expectations. And then we see how the theory can be modified to fit the data more properly, and then the conclusion. This is the demonstration of the phenomenon. As you can see, when, a, when the straw is uh, put into the water and, uh, and rotated according to the axis, it will, okay, it will, it will the water will pump out of the, uh, of the container. And, okay, so, and it is a continuous flow. It, so nextly, we notice that there is two set, two stages of the water flow. One is the steady flow stage, and the the one on the left, and the other is the unsteady flow stage where drop where droplets will be formed when out of the uh, out of the pipe uh, out of the straw. And the steady flow stage is the main focus of our experiments. The picture on the right is the experimental. Uh, the picture is the experimental setup. The one uh, by controlling the turning speed. Of the pump with the pumping straw attached to the motor, we can we can adjust the uh, angular velocity, uh, and it provides a stable angular speed, easy to adjust. And we record the pumping the pumping process of the of the whole uh, of the whole process, and we can tell the pumping speed. We define pumping speed as the mass flow rate of the uh, of the pump. So we read off the scale. And uh, and we define this, and we plot it over time to get the uh, pumping speed. Okay. okay. So according to the two that we we observed the uh, the mass the the mass plotted against time, and we found that there are two stages: steady flow and unsteady flow. And uh, as predicted, and we take the slope of the steady flow stage as the ma the primary mass flow rate of our phenomenon. So nextly, we uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, say how does, how we expect the phenomenon to occur according to our theory. So uh, to the left is the force analysis uh, under a non-inertial frame of view because uh, because, <coughs> because we're in a rotating ro uh, rotating frame of reference, so we have a centrifugal force, and the water is confined to move along the straw, influenced by centrifugal force and also gravity, so resulting in the flow of water in the direction away from the straw's opening. Okay, so under the non-inertial frame, the, there are two forces acting on the straw, so we take the two components uh, along the straw, and then when the straw is stable, we can take the water inside as a, as a body with a center of gra gravity in one half of the, uh, one, oh, in the, in the center of the straw. Okay, so the two force causes momentum change. This causes the uh, this is this, this causes the uh, changing of mass in the uh, in the straw. Okay, so that is the theory prediction. So as for the verification of the theory, we uh, we did some we did experiments uh, of mass flow rate against the angular speed of the when we were, of the rotation of the straw. Okay, so this is the this is the result. We we uh, we used a 45 degree angle of pumping straw, as indicated by the diagram. The experimental value is higher and steeper compared to the theoretical the theoretical model. Okay, next week. The angle to uh, and we did an ex another experiment according to uh, related to the angle of the pumping straw and uh, against the. Oh, sorry. We did we did another experiment showing the flow rate against the angle of the pumping straw. Okay, so 
uh, as, in, uh, as indicated by the diagram, there, the experimental values are higher than the theoretical values. And, but this one doesn't seem to be linear related even approximately. So we see there are deviations from experiments and theory. So we, we, seek, to, we seek to explain this phenomenon. So we modified our theory based on the, based on the following. We see that when, uh, when the, plumbing, the straw, the, the cross-sectional shape of the straw is, is, a, uh, is a circle, but when it is viewed from the, uh, from the horizontal, from, from horizontal cross-section, it will become an ellipse. And the area, it can be, uh, is multiplied by a, uh, and the area is, is related to the, the angle of the plumbing straw. So, we modified we modified the theory <coughs> with this, and we showed we did a, we, uh, we did another uh, theoretical prediction. Okay, so by adjusting the theory, we, we reached at a closer graph. Red is the the red the red line is the previous theory, and the purple one is the modified theory line. The angle matches the theory quite much, but for the angular for the angular speed, well. Uh, the, the angle matches the theory, but as for the oh, uh, for sorry for the ma for, for the mass flow rate against the angular speed of the pumping straw, it quite matches the new theory. But as for the mass flow rate against the pump, the angle of the pumping straw, it still deviates from the theory. We think that uh, we observe we we think that it is because of when. Uh, the, ang the, pumping straw the angle of the pumping straw is too large. It will cause it will cause small vi some small vibrations when you're rotating the pumping straw. So it causes this deviation from the uh, theoretical model. Okay. So for the conclusion, overall the deviation happens to values, but not the overall shape of the of the data. So we say the fitting is generally accurate, and the theor and for angular. For the experiment of flow mass flow rate according uh, against the angular speed, the theory is is enough to describe the trend. But for the pumping, the angle of the pumping straw, as the angle increases, <coughs> increase, the rotation the, the the instability of the rotation increases because it will if we observe vibrations on the uh, on the pumping straw, and the trend uh, the uh, the flows of the trend the trend still follows the theoretical expectation. Okay. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Okay. Now, a question from the to report and answer the report in 20 minutes. Okay, so first, we thank, thank you for your presentation and then we turn to page four to discuss about the experiment setup. Yes. Uh, okay. Page four. In this video, can you concern that the water is full of oil to the pump, but to the straw, or are there any space into the still in the straw after after the procedure as the water comes out? I think that we uh, we primarily we primarily observe the steady flow the steady flow stage, and in the steady flow stage, the water fills the fills the opening of the straw completely. Then why then can you do page five? So in which condition in which conditions that there will be a steady flow stage? When the okay, next jump, next skip to the next question. Okay, so you have mentioned that in your experiment, you have to only a uh, certain angle, or are there you do control variables of angles in different? What do you mean by angle? The pump, the straw, the you do control different angles. Yes, I did. I did different angle experiments and geometries. Geometry, yeah, we, just, we, uh, we just we considered the angle of the pumping straw as the geometrical properties of the of the pumping straw. Okay, so the next question is: Do you consider the length of the length of the straw will affect this phenomenon? Yes, in, according to our theory, we uh, we use the according to the theory, we we think that the uh, uh, the center of mass of the straw is related to the length. Of the straw. <coughs> okay, understand. Then where's your experiment to discuss about the length of the pumping straw? Like we, didn't do, we didn't do the experiment. Okay. And so the next question is that do you consider the diameter of the pumping straw the straw will affect this phenomenon? Yes, because after because we uh, we consider we consider in the theoretical mod uh, modification. Viscosity of water. 
viscosity, we didn't we didn't consider that because water's viscosity is relatively small. Okay. I stop. The version of Fellows and honorable judges, I'm from T Relativity, and I'm the opponent for number 11 pumping storm. Okay, and here's the problem statement. A simple water pump can be made using a straw shaped into a triangle and cut open at vertices. And when such is partially immersed to the water, one of its vertices and rotated around its vertical axis. So the first thing that from the opponent it has mentioned, uh, from the problem statement, it has mentioned there will be the immersed of water. So we concerned that the immersed depth will also affect this phenomenon and will be one of the barometers to discuss. And secondly is that the they have they tell, told us to investigate the geometry and other relevant parameters which affect the pumping speed. So which means that from their from their reporter rep representation, they just mentioned about different angular which cause diff they in they concern is the geometry. But there's still as uh, some other relevant parameters such as the rotation speed and so we're concerned that they can use the motor to control the rotation speed of the pumping stroke. And here's the summary of the report. Firstly, they have considered that in the procedure of the pumping stroke, there will be a steady and unsteady flow. <coughs> and also they have some force analysis and adjustments to consider the, 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 the conditions and also the centrifugal, centrifugal, centrifugal force. And in the experiment, they have used a, uh, sorry. And for the reporter, they have a lot of experiment to prove that since they do the parameters only about the angular, but from their rotation speed, they only do about 50 RPS, but there's still many other considerations that to make it as a control variables. And secondly, we consider that they 
have a good quantitative explanation from the theory of our model, but there's still some adjustment to consider. Since that the rotation feed part didn't consider fitting to the modeling. And also, we consider that they have a good understanding on the pumping speed definition because mostly what other considerations will mostly think about is the exit velocity, but they have mentioned it by its mass flow rate. And as for the suggestion, we consider that they can have more analysis method in a result, such as if they control the rotation speed, they, uh, how they measure the angular velocity, and also how do they measure the pumping speed. And also, they have a clear explanation on the equations that we have discussed further and from our discussions. And also, they could have been more parameters as we discussed is the immersed depth, the geometry, the length, and also the diameter of the pumping straw, which, can, which will cause the viscosity of the water to change in very thin condition, although their capillary effect capillary will be large. And as for the thick, as the pumping <coughs> straw be thicker, that they need a lot of extreme big angular velocity to pump the straw out. So we consider that the diameter of the pumping straw would be one of the important parameters which discussed in this problem statement. Okay, so for the discussions, first we will discuss about the, 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 the equations they have used for the theoretical model and clarify how their adjustments have, has considered and why, although have there such an adjustment, then why the RPS in the conditions still didn't fit the model. And secondly, it's the qualitative understanding about different parameters to affect this phenomenon. And also we've discussed about how they consider which is the most important parameters to affect this phenomenon from the geometry of the pumping stroke. And thirdly, it's the conceptual clarification of the unclear equation. And third, fourthly, it's the quantitative modeling of the measured parameters that they didn't have any measured analysis of how the, the, the angular velocity and other, uh, other results they can conserve. Yes, and next will be the discussion. Okay, so firstly, I have to ask that, do you consider that the capillary, would, uh, the capillary effect would affect this phenomenon? The capillary effect, you mean surface tension? Yes. We think that, we think that it's too small to take, take into consideration. Okay, so, but do you consider that if the, the, the diameter of the straw is very thin, that would cause a large capillary effect, do you consider? Yes, but we used we used a we used a pumping straw of a what diameter? We used, uh, we used we used just a normal we used just a normal straw, and we did and there is no there is the surface tension effect is too small when the velocity of the water is too high. Uh, then, then I mean that because from the pumping statement, it discussed about different geometry, so we assert that the diameter of the pumping straw will be one of the important phenomena. Yes. So firstly, think. You didn't concern the <coughs> diameter of the pumping straw, right? But as for the mass flow rate, the we the problem considers with the pumping velocity of the of the of uh, of the pumping straw. Yes. So we define it as mass flow mass flow rate. Yes, I and guess, the but surface, surface tension does not does not control mass flow rate. I understand why the reporter wants to mention, but as I concern that because the capillary effect is too large, which causes the water resistance to be too big, then the water can pump out through the pumping straw. So that it will decrease the pumping speed. So it will be one of the important parameters which affect this phenomenon. How do you define pumping speed? I define pumping speed is about how, the, how much water have pumped out through amount of water have pumped out through the pumping straw per time. So you define so you define it the same as me. So you, you define so you also define it as mass flow rate. Yes. But can you elaborate on how how does surface tension? Okay, can I move the blackboard? So as I concerned that firstly. If the diameter of the pumping straw is very thick, it will have a large capillary effect, which yes. causes that in very small angular velocity, the, the water will be pulled in a very high level, right? But so that is static. How do you, how do it, when, when it is, when the diameter of, I understand, so, but, 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 but we did experiment in a relatively big diameter. So I understand, so. Okay, so like, well, as I concerned that the surface tension will like this. So the reason why I concerned this is because at the surface tension will be in a big increase, which caused the water, the viscosity of this to be very big, which caused that, as you described, at the pumping speed, which caused the water to very hardly flow, on, flow out through the pumping straw, which also means it will decrease the amount of water which pump up through the pumping straw. So you mean if the di when the diameter is, is smaller, it will, it will cause greater surface tension and then prohibits the water from pumping out of the straw? Yes. 
Okay, I'm, 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 so I've inserted you know, one of the important problems, and secondly, that we have discussed about this chat, the log as uh, is the Fermi's law, is the diameter is big, which causes that it will have a low level of surface, the surface tension will be at the low level. Right? But, you can see, but, the, but the level of water is, is you considered is in the static situation, but in this pumping straw experiment, we did it, we, we did it dynamically, so it is not in the... But sorry, from your problem statement, you say you consider it's a steady flow. We say it is, static, it is steady flow, but it is also dynamic. It is not steady in, 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 in it's not in equilibrium. We say it has forces acting on the water, so it, but, is, it is dynamic. I understand, but I still consider that the surface tension will be fixed, because although you consider that the surface tension will be fixed because it's not in static form, but I consider it in dynamic conditions it will also be fixed, because although the surface tension will be fixed, but it will cause the viscosity to be very big of the water, and which cause that there will be some water resistance, which cause the pumping what amount of water can pump out through the pumping stroke. How do you define viscosity? <coughs> viscosity means the, the vis I consider that the viscosity in this condition is very small, right? The water, the, but the, the viscosity, I just admit, is like the water is connected with the pipe. It's not the viscosity of, on the water. So, so you define viscosity as the, as the, the, the wall of the pipe Act the for the the, uh, the resistance of the the resistance force the, the wall is acting on the water. You define it as that. No, I actually my meaning is because that uh, of course the viscosity of the water will be very small, right? Yes. But under I, uh, the viscosity, I definite in this condition is that as the water pump up in this condition, it will has a high contact with the wall of the. With yes, the definitely pump because it fills it fills the whole wall. They feel the whole straw, so it will definitely uh, sorry, I'm, the, the reason I mentioned this is because the surface tension will cause the water to highly stick in the wall, which causes the water the viscosity of the water to increase. So I mean that viscosity is not a normal viscosity of the water, it's the viscosity in this condition. Okay, I understand. Okay, and secondly, that we have discussed about it a lot, can you tell me that if the pumice, the diameter of the straw is very large, then which will happen? The, will the pumping speed be higher or lower? Or in which condition that would, will cause the pumping speed to faster? Do you have any uncertainty? I mean, if the, if, the, if the diameter of the straw is increased, then there are more water inside inside this whole straw. So when the when the angular velocity is the, when the angular velocity of the uh, of the rotating is is the same, then then there will be more water. Then the mass then, then there is more mass. So I think that. It will be harder for for the force to move the water along, so there will so there will be less mass, so there will be less mass flow rate. Okay, I understand. And I think this is a good clarification. And secondly, as you have mentioned in answer to the report about your concern about the steady and the steady flow. Yes, the page talk. So can you explain the part of the steady flow and the part of the steady flow and draw out? How the water has flowed out through the pumping straw in these two positions. Like, what, uh, as you just said, just, as you said. Simic, just draw simple symmetry. Okay, as you say, as you said, water water level definitely definitely uh, affects this phenomenon. So when the so when the pumping straw is like this, and the water is there is is over the the openings of the straw underwater. So that in that case, the water fills the fills the uh, straw completely. So there will be steady flow. But in the, but when the water when the water when the water level lowers down to down to the openings of the of the straw, then air will air will flow into it and probably drop its form at the end of the. But do you think that it's because of the Bernoulli's principle? Why do you can why can you use Bernoulli's principle if the if the water inside is not continuous? Okay, I understand, and I think you have a good clarification because normally everyone will consider this as a Bernoulli principle. Yes. And so, but I'm still concerned that there's somehow a little Bernoulli principle because the water is like this, right? But yes. after they will have a still little line which has also still have a little steady flow. So I'm concerned that because of the water continuity, this <coughs> steady flow in this part will be also considered as a Bernoulli principle. Because at this part is still steady flow. So we mean it is continuous over here and but air go but air just go in. No, I mean that because normally you can see from the if, you, if the inverse depth is lower, they will have a the, the water flow out will be like this. Then they will, because of the centrifugal force, the water will stick to a to the wall of the pumping straw, right? 
Oh, and, and also mentioned the viscosity is higher, so it will stick into it more tightly. Uh, I mean, I mean it's, it's a very low, a uh, very small diameter condition. Oh, okay. It was, it was affected by the surface tension. But in this condition, the water didn't fully full, fulfill the pump. So we don't need to consider about the surface tension and the, 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 the viscosity condition. So which means is that the, the force which caused the water to stick at the coming straw is because of how the centrifugal force has effect. So if the centrifugal force effect it will just come out of it. Yeah. So I mean at, at this part the as the, it will as consider it will be a steady force, which means we have a different consideration at this part, right? What do you mean by different consideration? Like, I, do, so do you think because as we previously mentioned you don't consider it as a Bernoulli's principle? Right. Yeah. But in our consideration, I consider that the water would stick at the pipe will be a steady flow. But it's very, it, although it's very thin, it's also ha it also can concern as a steady flow. So I concern it can use for those principles. Yes. I understand. And under and next part, that from your experiment, do you control the angular velocity? Yes, I control the angular velocity by using by using motors uh, sticking to the pumping straw. Okay. Line so here. how many angular velocity have you? I have I have done I have done the experiment uh, of this is the mass flow rate against applied against the speed so I've done one two three four five six seven I do seven seven data points okay I understand so do you concern are there any critical angular velocity what do you mean by critical angular velocity so like in which condition that the pumping speed will be the highest uh, uh, if the if the angular velocity is increased. According to our according to our theory, then the pumping the pumping speed will increase. Okay, I understand. And for the next question, I have to ask about the theory uh, the theoretical theoretical modeling from the part you have adjusted. Adjusted. Okay. Uh, next, that the fitting graph. Okay. So why do you have ask after you you have do such an adjustment? Then why still the theoretical model can fit in this condition? We think that. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Sorry. Okay, so we first we have discussed about the didn't boundary conditions about how the reporter has considered about didn't consider. Oh, okay. So first we have discussed about the diameter of the pumping straw, which uh, we have discussed is the thin diameter and the extremely large diameter, and they will have different conditions. And secondly, as the reporter didn't mention the inverse test and different parameters, so I just simply describe and just have a, a swallowly discussion, not too deep. And sec thirdly, we have discussed about in this which condition the water will be in a steady flow and which condition the water won't be in a steady flow. And fourthly, we have discussed about the resistance of the water and the wall. And thirdly, the, we should be concerned at which parameters that which will affect the pumping speed more significantly. But as we concern that from our description of the description of the the how we understand the problem statement, we have a different concern consideration. So maybe we still didn't find out which will all finally affect this problem. Yes. Question of a reviewer to reporter and answer the question. Three minutes. Okay. So first, I'm going to ask the opponent. You say that it, uh, you consider that the uh, continuous of the water. Yes. So, do you think the water speed go in and go out is the same? In this condition, I don't know. It's hard for me to observe why I'm concerned it will smallly affect by the uh, other conditions such as the the surface tension, but in very small, in different time, but it, I think that it will affect slowly in normal conditions. So it will just nearly the same. Okay, then I have the question for both of you. Uh, if the straw is not, uh, it's not like this, it's like the length two side is different, and what will happen? According to according to uh, because, because we, we adjust the pumping we adjust the pumping speed uh, we adjust the angle of velocity so the so uh, where we center of force is acting on the acting on both sides of the of the pumping straw and because the center of mass is different then 
predict that uh, the the right uh, as you can see, as you can, as you draw the the right the right side has has more water because it has more land. Right side there, there. Yeah. Or, yeah. On there. The, 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 because it has more land, then there are more water in it, so it is harder to move. So there is there is uh, less less uh, less mass flow rate on the right side. Okay. Then oh, I I consider that because the the shape of the straw is not equal is not parallel, right? Yes. So I consider that it will if the water resistance and because the different mass will affect the water resistance, which cause that it will cause it a steady flow. Okay. Okay. Then. The next question is for both of you is about surface tension. Do you think if we use different different uh, different straw like not plastic straw or a metal straw will it matter or it won't matter? I don't think it matters because uh, the the water velocity the water the pumping velocity is is really large compared to surface tension effects. So I think Surface tension effects plays a little plays a little role in this phenomenon. So I think okay. it will affect. And I consider that in the the, the op, op, most optimized no, the optimized diameter of the pumping straw, it will not affect. But in the normal conditions, in some conditions, if the diameter is very small or very big, that the surface is very small, the surface tension will affect through the viscosity of how the water and the. Water I pump. stop. Okay. Thanks. Preparation of our material. Two minutes. Okay, so this problem is pumping straw. And our main focus is how the par parameters will affect the pumping speed. Okay, then this is the reporter's presentation. And they, first, they explain why this phenomenon happened and what will affect the pumping speed. And they define the pumping speed with the mass rate. And they found there is two states. One is steady flow state, and another is unsteady flow state. Okay. And they do two experiments. One is about angular speed, changing angular speed, and another is changing the angle. Okay. So the discussion is the first question. Uh, oh. <coughs> this, the first question they discuss is about surface tension. And the reporter think that it's a bit too small and we can ignore it. The second, uh, they, they also discuss about if the straw is very thin, then that surface tension will affect. And then they 
discuss about if the straw is like the straw is big and not thin. Not thin. Well, there be more water being pumped or less. And they also discuss about if the water level is <coughs> if whole pumping straw uh, if, if that gap is all under the water level or it's not, well, what will happen and what is the difference? And another question opponent as reporter is which omega will have the max pumping speed? And the reporter think the bigger the omega is, the bigger the rotating speed is, then the mass rate is bigger. Okay, and I asked them some question too. Uh, uh, I asked them if the if the straw is not like this two length is not the same, then what will happen? And I and the reporter said that the side with the longer length will have less mass rate. And I agree with the reporter. And I also asked them if the if we use different straw for its effect and the reporter think not really think no because that surface tension could be ignored. Okay. And the their advantage and suggestion. For a reporter, I think they have good understanding on speed of pumping straw. That is good. And also try to explain how would it associate theory and experiment. And suggestion is have to make more per parameters and find out what the association between theory and other parameters. And consider deeper how well the surface tension work. Okay, thanks. That is all. Okay. Now that concludes kind of closing the remark of our report. Two minutes. Okay, so here is the here is the concluding report uh, remarks of the reporter. So we did experiments and we we've done the deviation discussion on the part. And and nextly, we discussed that opponents think that we should consider, we should take service tension into consideration. But we think, first, firstly, the, the system is dynamic. It is not, uh, the system is dynamic, but service tension need to be, only need to be considered when it is a static condition, so we, and in stable equilibrium. So we think, firstly, it should be ignored. The second, and secondly, uh, the, well, the water flow velocity is very, is very high, so service tension effects should be, neg should, is negligible. And then the opponent thinks that diameter as an important parameter because they think that surface tension is an important parameter. But we think that uh, since uh, well, we think that diameter is is important, but that the flow rate in decrease because uh, and uh, but we think that the flow rate decrease because of the diameter change, not because of the surface tension effects. Nextly, unsteady flow is caused by air flowing in the pipe, and we think that the, the Bernoulli principle can apply can be applied easily since we have since we have air flowing in the bottom of the uh, bottom of the straw, and that the mass the mass flowing in and flowing out can't be calculated so easily. So we don't think it can be applied. And nextly, uh, for the reviewer's question, we think that non-equivalent uh, non. Uh, when the two pumping straw has uh, has the not the same length. Then it causes less flow rate on the longer side. That is the concluding remarks of the report. Thank you. Okay. Now the question of the jury. Um, go back to your slides about the um, pumping uh, flow rate and also the rotation on the angle. Uh, rotation speed. Uh, you can pump the, the water flow. What's the minimum? The mean. 
uh, according to your preparation, if you think about the mini master, the best uh, angles, uh, angles of the speed can pump the water. That's a mini master. We didn't consider about that. Okay. So they also consider the mass of the I don't think so. Um, you also, also uh, I think the question, the statement said you need to consider the drainage parameter, right? I think do we understand it? Well, do you also control your drainage parameter? You are trying to I uh, didn't see it. We consider the geometrical properties as the as the angle of the, the of angle, the right? We just did the angle. Right. The director and the partner. No, no, we need to be the right. Give it a let's go. Seven, seven, six, five. Thank you. The next we show the opponent. Eight, seven, eight, seven, five. And finally we show the reviewer. Five, four, five, six, four. Thank you. We 